13 News Now begins with breaking news. The jury found the defendant not guilty of first-degree murder or second-degree murder, but guilty of voluntary manslaughter. There it is, a guilty verdict in the Stephen Rankin trial. The former Portsmouth police officer found guilty of voluntary manslaughter in the shooting death of 18-year-old William Chapman. The sentencing phase is underway right now. Rankin faces one to 10 years behind bars. You can see right there, we have a team of reporters at the courthouse covering this breaking news. Our coverage starts with Eric Kane, and Eric, it was emotional in that courtroom. David, it really was. It was also very tense. The Chapman family full of anxiety as they saw the jury file into the courtroom and deliver their verdict, finding Stephen Rankin guilty of voluntary manslaughter. William Chapman's mom broke down into tears. Stephen Rankin sat stone faced after the jury did not buy his argument of self defense. After the verdict was read, the sentencing phase began and Stephen Rankin again took the witness stand. He told the jurors that he was sorry for Chapman's death. He said that he wished he could have done more to save the teenager's life in the Walmart parking lot. But the prosecution did not buy it. I can't begin to fathom how much pain that family's going through after losing a loved one. Um, I wish I could have done more than I did to try and keep them alive. I did everything that I could, and I wish I had never. I wish that none of this had ever happened. Dear sir. Didn't you shoot him? I was the one that shot him. Yes. Okay. And you say you've been married a little over a year. Is that correct? So after you killed Mr. Chapman, you got married? Uh, a couple months after I, the incident, yes, sir. And you've also indicated you have a child? Yes, sir. You realize because of you, William Chapman will never have a child? I really wish this had never happened. And Stephen Rankin faces a minimum of 12 months in jail and a $2,500 fine and up to 10 years in prison. The jurors right now still deciding what that punishment should be. Live in Portsmouth, Eric Kane, 13 News Now.